guys welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome to my channel i really hope you subscribe and stick around and become a part of the fam if you're a turning subscriber hey girl welcome back to my channel i'm so excited as you can tell from the title y'all if you've been on my channel you've been following me you know that we're getting a puppy right so this video is not my norm your girl never ever in her life had a pet so i never posted nothing but no kind of like puppy nothing so this haul for me is so exciting like i'm cheesing because i'm going to get my puppy in a day and a half from now so i wanted to share with y'all the stuff that i got for him let me know down below if y'all have any recommendations let me know because your girl is new to being a dog mom so let me know i really need all the recommendations and like just all the prayers in the world him. i made him this sign that says welcome home packs in blue 10 weeks old because to, um when i get him he'll be 10 weeks so i just put that on there and i'm gonna put this beside his crate and just make like a little cute picture when i get him just to welcome him home so if y'all are getting a dog y'all need something like this because i feel like these are cute to make the announcement so let's actually get into what i've got and guys the stuff is on the floor so i might be bending a little like excuse that so the first thing that i wanted to share with y'all that i got was wee wee pads um this bag is so heavy I went to PetSmart and I felt like I spent a lot of money in PetSmart. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm ever going to buy from PetSmart again. I think I'll just buy on Chewy because PetSmart is a little expensive. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, the few things that I got in there cost me almost $200 and it wasn't really that much. And everything else that I have, I got it online or at Home Goods, but I'll try to tell you where I got these from. So these Wee Wee pads, oh, it's heavy. I got these from PetSmart. You will need a lot of these. Ow! I, I have never had a dog, but I know you'll need a lot of these. His breeder told me I need these because we're trying to potty train him. And especially the fact that he's not used to my house or being with me. We know that he's going to, you know, be acting up, especially when we just come home. Guys, I'm not an expert. I've been watching a lot of videos, like a lot of videos, and I've just been making a lot of notes, trying to prepare myself as best as possible. So if y'all have any tips, like let me know down below. I also got him a crate, but the crate that I got, I went to PetSmart and the lady was telling me, oh, since he's like a toy poodle, yes guys, he's a toy poodle, I forgot to say that, um, maybe he doesn't need like the 24 inch crate. His breeder told me to get a 24 inch with a divider so he could, you know, grow in it and I could measure out a small part so he doesn't like pee in the crate because if they have too much space, they pee on themselves and stuff like that, I think, but I listened to the girl in PetSmart, I got an 18 inch crate, came home, started to set it up. I'm like, oh my God, this is too small. Like, this doesn't make any sense. So um, I had gotten this crate mat, which is 18 inches as well. Um, everything I have for him is neutral. You're gonna see that and very like aesthetically pleasing because girl, he's about to take over my whole house. Well, my whole living room and I don't want it to look like horrible. So I got everything like neutrally and like aesthetically pleasing because it's gonna stress me out so the crate mat guys is for the crate even though when i just get him i'm told that i can't put this in there until he's like learned to um until he's potty trained because he's just gonna pee on everything so i don't really know but i really don't like the idea of just putting him in the crate with just a blanket but we'll see how it works out but i got him a crate mat um this is the one for the 18 inch crate and guys i do have a 24 inch because my sister brought the 18 inch back and she got me the 24 inch with a divider but she still hasn't dropped it off to my house yet but she will before he gets here but i just kept this so when i part the, the um the crate out for him to stay i can use this little mat for him once he gets the hang of coming out to like pee pee on his wee wee pad instead of like peeing in the crate then i'm gonna have this in the little section because remember that it's a big crate but i'm gonna section it off so this will work i didn't return this because i want him to be comfortable and i don't care people are like oh you've been buying too much stuff and he's just gonna pee on it and ch like chew it up and i'm just like it is what it is because i don't want to be uncomfortable and i would not want my puppy to be uncomfortable got these doggy bowls guys they're so cute i got these at home depot it says drink can y'all see that drink and the other one says um 
eat. I think he might be too small for these bowls. I don't know, but we're gonna see. And guys, be sure to subscribe and watch my other videos because there will be a vlog when I go to pick him up. Um, I got him a bed, y'all, even though I'm being told by everybody, all he's gonna do is chew on it and pee on it, so. But anyways, leave him alone. This is his bed. It's so comfy. I love the aesthetic color of it. Y'all already know everything is neutral, okay? And then he is a red toy poodle, so he's already an aesthetic. Like, he matches with, like, my vibe. <laughs> Even though that's not the reason I got him to be an aesthetic, you forget what I mean. But I love this and it's so soft and then I can flip it. It's re reversible, I think that's what the label said. So if I don't want that part to be on the outside, I could always just do it like this. And this will how it, it'll look, okay? Really love, love his bed. It's so comfy. I feel like I can take a nap in there. <laughs> and um, his bed, guys, that's from Home Goods. I should have like categorized everything so the bowls are from Home Goods. His bed is from Home Goods. I'm gonna show you the rest of stuff from Home Goods, and then I'll show you the other stuff that I got at PetSmart. The crate mat, though, and the crate is from PetSmart. The doggy pads, the wee wee pads, are from PetSmart. So I got this bottle, which is so cool. It's a bottle, and it has a plate. So you know, if you go out for the day and you take your puppy. Half of it is for water and half is for food so I can feed him. This is such a good buy, I don't know. I felt proud of myself for getting this, so definitely I think I did good. Um, actually got two pet drying towels. Um, this one, which is so cute, and this one, but guess what? This one is so soft, it feels like a blanket. So I'm going to take this one with me in my purse to pick him up um, because his breeder told me that she will give me a blanket in his stuff because you get a, like a puppy kit, a first time puppy kit, she gives you stuff with him. But the blanket will be a blanket that smells like his mom. So once you get that, she doesn't want me to like put that, you know, in case he has an accident so it gets like weed up so I have to wash it, you get what I mean? So I'm gonna keep that blanket for when he's sleeping here that night for the very first time. I'm gonna put the blanket with his mom's scent just so it comforts him somewhat. So I got this other blanket, right? Which is so pretty and it's so soft. This is not a blanket, sorry, this is a drying towel. But she told me to take a towel or a blanket to pick him up. So I'm gonna bring this, like it's soft guys, you can see that, that it's soft, look at the inside. So I'm gonna bring this in my bag when I go to pick him up. So on the plane ride, if I have to take him out and put him in my lap or anything, I can just use this. And guys, I got this throw from Home Goods. it says it's a pet throw. It's so beautiful, like it's big. And it's just so soft. What I plan on doing with this is to cover his crate because she told me to cover his crate at night when he sleeps because if you put him in to sleep and you don't cover the crate, the lights and the stuff will distract him and he'll not want to go to bed. I intend to buy a crate cover. I will order that on Amazon because I feel like that's so much better because it's already um, measured out for the crate and you just have to put the crate in and zip it up so much easier than a blanket. But for now, cause I didn't get a cover, we'll use his blankie. It's a pet throat to cover his crate. Yo, I have so much stuff. Hold on. Uh -uh. I got him some toys. Hopefully he liked them. I'll let y'all know in another video. I got him this toy. This was from Home Goods. That's such a good toy. And it squeaks, oh my god. And then I got this. I, I love this. Like, it's so soft. And it squeaks. I feel like he's gonna like this. Love this. And then, um, he has more toys. Hold on. And then I got him this chicken. I don't know why I got him this chicken, but it says it's perfect to cuddle, toss, and fetch, okay? It squeaks too. Imagine every single day i'll be hearing squeaking in my house oh my goodness oh lord i can't but this chicken i'm gonna teach him you know like to play fetch or something and then i got this ball because you know dogs like little balls so i got him this little ball um i think that's oh and i also guys i'm sorry for the rumbling because i have a lot of stuff okay um i got him this brush 
from Home Goods as well. That's supposed to be when you give him a shower, a wet brush. I just wasn't sure what he needs and what he doesn't need, so I feel like I overbought stuff. And I got him this other brush that has the backing. And then, y'all, everything is just falling. Ugh. But I got him this brush. It has both sides and he's a toy poodle so he needs a lot of brushing guys i got these waste bags from home goods be sure to check out home goods because no one told me that home goods was the spot for pet stuff you know how i knew i could get nice stuff is because i'm always in home goods and guys i got him this swing let me know how you feel down below because one of my um friend she has a friend that has a similar dog and she was just like he's not gonna use that swing you wasted your money but girl it was so cute and aesthetically pleasing i'm gonna put him in there okay i promise you i'll put him in there i'm gonna take a picture of him in there too because it's so cute and i'm just gonna train him to want to go in there it doesn't even matter if he outgrows it. I just feel like it's really cute. I'm gonna insert like a picture of the swing because I'm not about to go lift that up. It's a little heavy. I'm gonna insert a picture of the swing on the screen. Let me know if y'all thought I needed that or not. I don't need it, but I wanted to get it, okay? Oh guys, I got these mats to place his bowl and water on. These are so cute and they match the um they match the bowls. So these mats are just there to help keep the bowls in place. So I got that and I got him a Kong. Let me know if you have a puppy if you believe in the Kongs. These are the things that I see them putting peanut butter and freezing them and then giving your puppy, it gives them something to do. So like times when I really have stuff to do, I gotta work and I don't want him to be like sad or nothing. I'm gonna freeze this, have him play with it and then you know, he'll be entertained and happy. So I got him the small, even though he's like a very small dog, I was gonna get him the extra small, but the extra small to me he looked as if he was gonna chew on that and choke and I don't want to go to the hospital or the ER with my puppy okay so I'm like let me get the bigger one even though it might be a little bit big for him versus getting the very tiny one like the extra small is so small like this is small to me like really small but the extra small is so much smaller and I know I could have like stuffed my own peanut butter in there but I bought this, one of the Kong fillers. It says stuff to extend playtime. It has a puppy recipe. So I got this. Got this for him. Um, he's teething right now. So I got him this. I will freeze it so he has it to chew on. I love this. So he has this to chew on and like tug and play with. I also, these are all from PetSmart guys. And I also got him this, um, what is this again? I think, oh, a leash. <laughs> That's how you know I never got no dog before. It's a re retractable leash. You know, the ones that you just like press the button like pow and it pulls him back. So I got one of those. It looks really strong and sturdy. I have to get him a harness to go with this. I didn't find any that I like and I'm so picky. So we're gonna go online again and try and get a harness. The only good thing is he's not gonna be outside right now because his breeder said he has to get a lease um, she would wait until he has his three sets of shots before taking him outdoors Especially because I live in an apartment and then you have a lot of dogs outside and we don't know what those dogs got Okay, and we're trying to get him um, make him safe and because he's such a small puppy You don't want him getting sick. So I have time to find a harness for him. I got these the Nyla bones because I hear these are really good, especially with the teething. These are flavored bacon, peanut butter, beef, so he can chew the heck out of these and not chew my furniture. I'm supposed to get me a bitter apple spray. Let me know down below if y'all believe in getting that. My uh, friend told me to get it to spray my carpet and my sofa and my stuff, but I don't think he'll get a chance to eat anything because I, ha I will have him in his crate and he'll be contained. And when he's out of his crate, I will be monitoring him. I'll be playing with him and stuff. So I don't think he'll chew anything. I have to get him a playpen. That's what I'm lacking right now. So when I take him out of his crate and I have something to do, I can put him in the play area where I know he will not tear anything down. He will not pee on nothing. It's just, you, you know what I mean? So I have to get a playpen and that's the only thing I'm missing. That is dog food. Do y'all want to see that? Like, ugh. I got him some Purina Pro Plan puppy. And this is because his breeder said that was what she's giving him. And I don't want to take him out of 
that space and bring him here and give him something different. He's already going to be in a foreign space with a different scent all around him. He's already going to be stressed. I don't want to cause him more stress. So I got the feed that she gives him right now and I'm going to research and get a better feed because the lady at PetSmart said it wasn't the best. She doesn't recommend it, but Purina is recommended because vets endorse it and stuff like that. But I'm going to switch his feed out. Let me know down below if you have any feed um, that you think, any food, dog food that you think I should give to him. I don't know if feed is the right word, excuse me, that's wrong. I got him shampoo and conditioner. I got him BioSilk only because his breeder <laughs> said that's what she's using. So I got him BioSilk. Um, I have a friend who got a toy poodle and she's like, she don't, she used the BioSilk but she don't really like it. So now she used Chi or is it Chai, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So after these, I'm going to get him the Chai or the Chi, is it Chi, I don't know. But we have the BioSilk, the, um, for dogs, the shampoo. Can y'all see it? We have for dogs, the shampoo, the puppy one, it's tearless. And then we have the detangling conditioner because my boy is fluffy. We need this. So, oh my God. Most importantly, guys, I got him a snuggle puppy. I was told by his breeder that this will help eliminate well not eliminate but alleviate anxiety especially now because he sleeps with all the other puppies she doesn't make like let them sleep separate so they're all bundled up so imagine coming somewhere you've never seen you never smelled and then you're in a crate by yourself you get what i mean so she told me to get him the snuggle puppy this is what it looks like i got it from amazon it has a heartbeat and it's warm i think it has a heating um pack in it so it's physical warmth, real feel, pulsing heartbeat. So it calms fear, loneliness, and anxiety separation. I hope he doesn't chew it and I hope he lays with it. And you know, it helps because I don't want him to be sad. Um, yeah. I got him some dog treats as well because I'm going to train him. I got these at PetSmart. I don't know what to buy y'all. So I just got these. It says it tastes like chicken liver. <laughs> Made with fresh chicken liver. Is that what they like? I don't know. It says made with fresh chicken liver. We gonna see if he likes it. But besides that, guys, I think that's everything I have. And I've showed it to you. Um, the crate, I didn't show you. But I'll put like a picture. Y'all know what a crate looks like. But the crate is in my sister's car. But that's everything. I'm super excited. If you all have anything that I missed, then let me know down below. I definitely want to go get it um yeah and i'm so happy to be getting a puppy i'm nervous i'm scared so pray for me and these are the essentials i can't even talk bro oh and guys lysol sorry lysol because i have the lysol but y'all know what lysol looks like i don't need to get up and show y'all lysol so i have the lysol wipes i have this spray and you also can get the Febreze Pet to help eliminate odors. Thank God for me, my puppy's hyperallergenic. He doesn't shed and he doesn't smell. Like he is not a, a smelly dog. So as long as I keep my hygiene end up, he should be fine. The only other thing that I'm missing from this video is his toothbrush and toothpaste. I didn't get that, but I'm gonna get it. No worries. He's not gonna be out here having bad breath. I'm gonna get it in like, I have two days. Well, a day and a half, so I'll get it by then. Um, I think that is it for now. Let me know down below, y'all, if you've ever had a puppy and if you think I have all the essentials. If you think I missed something, then let me know. Oh, guys, oh my God, last one, baby wipes. Baby wipes for the, boot, for the booty, okay, and for the paws when they come in. So I have to go to the store. I definitely have to go to the store to get the baby wipes because I forgot. Oh my god. So I have to go get those baby wipes, but I have until like tomorrow to get that before I go on the flight. So I think we're good. I don't know. I'm so nervous. As a new pet mom, this is like so nerve wracking. But yeah, guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. Like my puppy, what you call this? Like my puppy, um list or whatever i don't know but i really hope you all like this video this is my puppy my very first puppy haul and i'll have more puppy videos because now i have a puppy so i'll show y'all what happens with me and sir pack soon thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys